40 seconds he did join oh oh but magnus magnus didn't even leave suspense he joined he, he he didn't even leave the suspense he joined with 40 seconds i was i thought he would do i thought he would join with five seconds he didn't even wait till five seconds so it's not really it's not really that big of a surprise yeah he last i think last time when he did join he joined with like three seconds like literally three seconds before it started so yeah all right okay title tuesday it's gonna be a fun one of course magnus is playing in it yeah yeah second yeah i mean i it's 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 a shame because i played arena kings and i think in arena kings i dumped a good 30 points last wednesday before i went on my 20 game streak but uh it is what it is okay here we go round one let's start let's play g uh no let's play g3 i could play i mean it doesn't really matter which order magnus and fabiano is gonna be fun it, it should be fun um okay let's go here oh do i not have sound okay i can play like Oh, let's go knight c3, castles e4, all the usual stuff. Marcel. Thank you so much, up. Marcel Hosu. Thank you, Gadriel. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, okay, I'll play e4. I'm going to castle. And the music down just a touch. Thank you so much, Chase Moed, for the gift of sub. Thank you so much, Chase Moed. Okay, I guess I just castle, of course. Oh, my opponent is streaming? That is true. I didn't even notice that. Okay, yeah, all this pretty standard so far. All very standard. Uh, hopefully, I play Magnus. That would be pretty amazing. But again, it's a long tournament. We'll see what happens. He's using a lot of time here. I think I think I might have played this guy in Arena Kings, actually. He plays H6. Um, logical move. I can take if I want. I mean, it's definitely a move. I mean, rookie one is a move. D four is a move. Um, just play rookie one. Keep it simple. Okay, he does play D four now. The question is, do I want to go knight D two or knight E two? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to D two. I think E two is is also fine, but I'll I'll just go to D two. I'm gonna play like knight H four maybe and knight F five here. I still have knight D two at some moment, or knight A three potentially, depending what he does here. How come it's recent switch to one G3 tired of one B3? No, it's just I want to mix it up. Sometimes you, it gets boring playing the same things every every time. Bishop G4, I'm actually... I think I'm happy to see that. I'll go Bishop F3 and trade. Goes to E6. Um, play Knight F5, why not? I think there's a Kyle 0808 for the for the um for the 21 months. C4 is probably a good move. I, I actually missed the idea. Um I still should be better here somehow. I just need to reroute. Go here. I think I'm gonna reroute this way, actually. Maybe I had Bishop H6 possibly there too. I don't know. I don't actually like my position all that much here, but probably okay. What's the benefit of 1g3 compared to knight f3? There is no actual benefit. Okay, now he lets me get queen f3, and I should be pretty happy here with the position. I just really wish I hadn't played a4. Thanks so much to Zadom for the 23 months. Thanks so much to Zadom. Um, I can play g4. I'm just going to play like... Just go here, maybe. Keep it simple. Just guard everything. I guess, I mean takes I just take okay rook c8 I expected that don't actually like this position okay, let's go here okay, I think I have bishop b5 maybe to hit the rook again very sharp position should be okay for me but it's, it's sharp uh podcast channel yeah c squared apparently I, I think i'm supposed to cover that later but i i i again i haven't seen any of that so i'll get to that later on it takes so i take i guess i go here to hit the rook and then i just take and it takes i just take so it takes so i take of course he takes 
B1 looks correct to force a trade. Not super enthused by the position, but I should still be better here. Oh, wait, I just blundered. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just blundered. Oh, yeah. Shoot, I just made a huge blunder. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got really careless there. And okay, now I'm gonna have to blitz and hopefully I can get a cheese or something. He's only got 30 seconds, so maybe I can cheese him somehow. Gotta speed up though. For Queen C6 was not a good move. Of course I missed Knight G5, obviously. What the heck? I just missed Knight G5 and now I just lose the game. Not the start I wanted for sure. B3. Where's the mate though? I'm gonna win. Jeez. Insane. I should win now. Let's go check. Right. Although, actually, this isn't so easy to win. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Jeez. <sighs> Not good. We get the win. He totally threw that. Yeah, he threw that so hard. Jeez. Okay, whatever. We get the win. Nobody cares how you win as long as you win. Let's not do that again. No kidding. How, how lost was that? I mean, this was like... Minus 7, yeah. It minus 10. Yeah, Queen Z2 was... I mean, still winning, but yeah. El Busto, no kidding. Yeah. Anyway, we get the win. One out of one. What can I say? I'll take it. Um... Thank you so much to Ebot for the 24. Thank you to Pleafers for the 21 months. Appreciate it. Yeah, win is a win. It doesn't matter how you get it as long as you win. Yeah. Good warm-up game, yeah. Good warm-up game. All right. Magnus is playing. Yes, Magnus is playing, yeah. Fabiano is streaming on the podcast. Wait, Fabiano is streaming on the podcast channel? Wow, okay. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, this game is not getting 100%. By the way, you guys, um, I will talk about that too as well later on. Um, yeah. Fabiano, Fabiano said today is his day to play Stafford's. Ah, okay. Okay. Oh, no, it's just Chirilla streaming? Okay, okay, fair enough. All right. Anyway, one out of one. Let's watch Wesley's game. Of course, Wesley is playing. He's going to win F3. GG. Yeah. Yeah, I watched Fabiano's podcast. I did not watch it yet, you guys. I'm, I think my mods have already picked out spots that I need to watch today. Uh, but I haven't watched it. I haven't watched it yet. No. Yay! It doesn't matter how you win. Some people are cheating. Very funny. Very funny, you guys. The bottom line is, it doesn't matter how you get the win based on your chess moves, okay? If you're going to make me have to be blunt about it. But, yeah. Anyway, anyway. Everybody's everybody's playing today. Like, everyone's playing. Magnus is playing. I'm playing. Fabiano's playing. Wesley's playing. Jose Martinez is playing. He's a pawn march for the 16th. Thank you to Pepe. Uh, Pepito for the prime and Crod for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Fabiano is streaming. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, welcome to the world of online chess, you guys. Um, I mean, there are a lot of a uh, lot, lot of events. Srinath is playing too. Yeah, I don't know. You guys said there's something about Srinath, but I, I don't know. Um, I don't I don't know what exactly it is. Yeah. 
Is Hurricane Jan heading towards you? No, Nepo is in, in Russia, I think. So he's not heading towards me. Um, but joking aside, yeah, I'm on the other side of Florida. I'm on the, uh, I, I'm near like Fort Lauderdale. So I'm on the, um, I'm on the Eastern side, not the Northwestern side. No, I mean, Tim, Cloaksy, Tifu, those are the guys who, who need, who, I mean, I, I don't know what they're doing, but they need to be safe. Serena asked tweet they use a BCJ for the two Alice for the 21 canvas. I haven't seen, I don't know what Serena's tweet is. I'll, I'll try to find it right now. Um, uh, he says, uh, he puts out, this is like a long tweet, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, I mean, it's a, it's a long set of tweets. So let's just, let's just play chess. Strongest title Tuesday ever. Uh, probably close, actually. Probably quite close. Okay, let's play our modern setups. Uh, let's play d6, knight, d7, e5, the usual. I'm not going to blunder e5 pre-move to bishop takes d8. Very cheat, very cheesy. Okay, let's go h6 and g5. Should already be very good for me. Okay, uh, if e6, is there... I think I can still go e6, because takes, I have b5. Okay, so now I take, of course. Go, like b6 bishop b7 queen e7 all very standard stuff here queen e7 maybe c5 just a6 to stop bishop a6 probably i'm gonna play c5 here though chip away at the structure try to use the double op combo here if i can this d5 pretty logical move i can cast if i want actually c5 was maybe not so smart by me i'm gonna go king d8 this looks kind of very suspicious but <laughs> he goes <laughs> he goes king d1 i like his i like his style go 95 and hit the bishop i like his style we both play king d1 and king c2 okay f4 um okay all normal so far don't actually like my position that much though hmm take play rookie eight now now i don't have to worry about the uh queen side so much so i Maybe I should have gone rook d8. I mean, I have to be careful about e5 tricks, but I think I'm okay here. Okay, I mean, I can obviously take... I don't actually... I think I'm just going to go here and rook, rook d8. I don't like the way... I don't like my position here, really. It's not ideal, that's for sure. You can switch to Mr. Clutch for the three months. Thing. You watch your clock? Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of that. Go here... The e5, I think I can take and probably sack at the very least. But yeah, I don't, I don't like my position here at all. It's not, not, it's not great. That's for sure. There's rook a3. And now I think I kind of have to do something here in the center. I think I, I guess I'll just take. Like queen e6 maybe. Try to soften this up. Should be okay here. I think it's wish to Dickinson for the tier one. Okay, plays rook a one. I think knight b6 was actually winning. He missed it, thankfully. But um, it's still very hard to prove anything here. How do I prove anything? I mean, I don't really want to trade queens, but I kind of have to. I'm going to go here, actually. And then, like, rook g8 maybe to hit the pawn. Maybe h5. Depends what he does. I could have played h5 first, too, I guess. But should be okay. Thank you so much to that uh, Chinatown dude for the seven months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you for the resub. Thank you so much to Bearded Will for the three months. I think, I, I think I'm better here, though. Yeah, knight takes b6 was winning. Okay. Yeah, I, I, it looked very scary. Things are just Boston Buckeye for seven months. Okay, now, now I'm definitely... Or I thought I was better here. Maybe I'm not. B4, Rook H6, Rook F4. Yay! Should be better here somehow. Okay, wait. Or Rook H6. I'll just go for it anyway. I think it's okay. I mean, his pawn is a little bit weak here. I mean, it still should be a draw with perfect play, but maybe I can trick him. Let's 
Let's go B5, force a trade. Sanrf underscore just subscribe. Nakamura Flower. I think I'm I'm close to better. I'm not actually better, but I feel like I'm oh Rook F2 Knight G4. Whoops. Should be better here somehow. B5 or H5. I think this is the right move. Coach said just I have like some C4s. There's some tricks here. The knight is kind of. Like go C4 or not? I think I'm gonna go here. I want to go C4 King E2 Rook E4, but yeah, he's got this. I'll go there now. He's got some weaknesses here on the queen side to deal with. Like Rook B2 is a big threat. I don't know if I'm actually winning here, but I think I am gonna win the game. He's over to coach up for the eight Siren Arrow for the 13 say do as well for the two. And Rick Monster. Okay, so he goes for the end game. I don't know. I've got to go for this, I feel like. Maybe I could have played F6 too, but who knows. I assume this is winning. I'm getting past pawns. Okay, let's think about this. How how can this be winning? Okay, C4 is not right. Checking of Might not be winning actually. Hmm. I think I can use the two pawns though, maybe. I'm just gonna use my two pawns and try to win the game. So these pawns are very fast here. This might still be a draw, but it's gonna be very hard for him. I think I'm actually going to win because the, the pawns are more important here. This Rook G6. I think he meant to go to H6. Wait a second. This should be winning. Rook B4. Yeah. But it's just check. Okay, we win. There we go. Another one. Two out of two. There we go. Okay, we got the win. Two out of two. Good start. Um, not good games, but it's still the good start we want. Two out of two. El Magnus on two. Let's see. Fabiano is playing against um, Moksha. 2668. This should be a draw with correct play, but I think Fabiano is going to... What the heck is King H... King H1, what? I don't know what King H1 is. So weird. What the heck was King H1 there? I mean, it's probably still losing, but you take or go like King F2. Yeah, so weird. Okay, so Fabiano also two out of two. Everybody's on. Everybody's off to a good start. Thank you so much to Luki Wan for the 14. Nawasks for the 4. JSRK for the 27. And Gouldy for the Prime. Thank you so much, Gouldy. Appreciate it. Will we ever see you on the C-Square podcast? Yes, I already recorded a, a podcast with them. So, yeah. Did I play El Magneto last Tuesday? Um, no, I don't think I played him in Title Tuesday. Nope. Ready for the hurricane? I mean, it's just raining outside, but, I mean, what's the big deal? I mean, it's just raining. I don't know. It doesn't look that bad to me. I mean, I'm on the other side of Florida. The hurricane's hitting the other side. So, yeah, I'm not, not particularly worried at the moment. But, hey, if my stream just randomly dies, well, it was, it was nice knowing all of y'all. So, yeah. <laughs> um, let's watch Gata. Gata also playing, by the way. Yeah. Thanks so much to the real unknown for the four months. Thanks so much to the real unknown. Uh-oh. Wait, G5? Wait. Why didn't he go here? No, but now it's just a draw... This was winning somehow. But anyway, it's, it's a draw. It is what it is. I literally doesn't care about hurricanes. I'm not, not so worried about it. Yeah, I'm on two out of two. So we're off to a good start again. Do this IRL for 100% engine correlation. I found, by the way, you know... Um, I was going to say this story later, but I'll, I'll, I'll point out now. So 
you know I know everybody assumes that I don't study chess so this is kind of leaking something but I do actually study chess time to time and I was looking I was looking at some some uh some some basically puzzles yesterday and uh I was looking at some puzzles and I came across this, this Gary Kasparov game against Nigel Shore from 1986 and I was aware of it already because uh, it was in a Queen's Gambit decline line that I played against Magnus in 2011 uh but then I decided to just open chess space and take a look at the game and Gary actually had a 100 correlation for that game against Nigel Short in 1986. so yeah I should not have leaked this that I actually studied chess I know it's better to have people think that I I just I I all I do is stream I I don't study chess at all I just pretend yeah 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 more impressive of course it's very impressive did they have beads back then <laughs> good one um uh, okay let's go knight of three yeah good one yeah no that's a good one that, that that's pretty funny they had stones not beads good one okay what am I doing here this is actually Magnus and I had this in our death mat or not death match or speech chess championship match in 2017. whoa d4 not a move I was expecting um that's really not a move I was expecting um I don't want to think too I'm legitimately confused by this d4 move I don't know I'm thinking too long here though yeah stun lock d4 yeah I'm a little confused by d4 let's go for it I don't know if this is good or not but it seems reasonable if he takes I just take and he goes knight c3 I can just play queen d2 or queen e1 for that matter now he's confused oh he goes night before actually I didn't even see night before that's just great oh but maybe I can go this is such a weird position I'm so confused I guess I'll go d4 yeah this is really confusing I guess I go here and just guard because knight c2 I have rook c1 bishop c2 just queen d2 and now I have a big white center and I should just be better here I think I think because I can always kick the pony with a3 or kick the other pony with d5 I think I'm better here but I'm not 100 percent sure we'll see what he does the longer he thinks the more likely it is that I I'm just better though it goes Bishop e4 which looks kind of wrong to me it looks wrong but how wrong yeah it just doesn't look like a very good move because now I'm gonna have to play d5 because I guard the bishop and these knights are a little bit loosey-goosey they're not really well placed so I should be better here I don't know like if it's much better or marginally better I also have knight c5 maybe as well I just realized but anyway okay now he plays a5 but now I think d5 should be very strong he's like he's just a little he's a little bit too late to the party here because now my white center is just too strong and I also have knight c5 and this is probably gonna get very ugly for black very soon what he does I can play a3 and knight knight a I actually even knight a5 even knight c hmm, what's best knight takes a5 knight c2 knight b7 that just looks winning knight a5 or k5 queen b4 that just looks winning Knight e5, knight e5, knight b7. That looks winning. Knight e. Yeah, I don't see it. I'm just gonna do it. Bobby, what? Bobby's playing the Stafford. Okay, so I'm just up a pawn here. Big white center. Ooh, knight e4 blunder c5. Yikes, that'd be bad. Okay, so now I, now I should just slow it down. Be a little bit chill about it. Go here. Okay, knight e4. Of course, take a knight c6. Now, I should just be winning here let's go here to hit the rook hit the queen of queen a8 I just checkmate him on e7 he's gonna move the queen I can probably take the rook I can also take the bishop but I 
Yeah, I mean, this looks good enough. He has to move the Bishop and then just Knight B3 or Knight C6 back, and it should be GG's pretty soon. Unless I'm missing something very obvious. One minute, yeah. He goes Bishop H3. Knight B3, Knight E4, Queen E3. Queen D4, F5. Now let's just go back, keep it simple. So I always have Queen E5 to exchange the Queens. And then if I exchange the Queens, Bishop on H3 does nothing, so it should just be pretty smooth. Okay. Queen E5 is... And what's the, what's the count? I'm up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So Queen E5 is good. But I think actually I'm just going to keep the extra pawn I have here. There's no reason to panic. Let's take... Go A4. I don't care if he takes, because now, I mean, it's just, it's a knight and versus a rook in an end game. Now, good move. I'll play F3, take away squares in the center. Not really worried about him taking the pawn. I mean, I assume he will take it at some point. Let's just go H4. I didn't even have to play H4, probably, but go here. I think I have queen h6. And queen h7, and this should be good enough. Yeah, I'm going to win this game too. We're going to be three out of three. Good start. Go check. I also have e4 here, which is just a bone crusher. I think I take and play e4. Where do I play e4? I can also play e4 first, I guess. Wait a second. You take and play rook d3, rook takes, rook a1, queen c2. No, I don't want to do that. So take six, e4, queen e5, queen g6. Yeah, I just take and I mean. Oh, I actually be a little bit careful how I do this, though. Wait a second. Okay, let's go here I guess because he can never come in because then I then I made him on a8 so he can't really use the queen and then if he can't use the queen then he can't he can't get anything going here yeah, this is game over 92 is just mate there's no checks yeah it's just checkmate you can go knight a4 for for, for laughs but I won't take because that's Talmud. I will just go check and tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, wiggle, wiggle. And now I just take. Now I can actually take because my king gets out after the check. But it doesn't much matter. Okay, rook a4 wins. But I don't even need to do the tickle, tickle. So let's just go check. Yeah, you know, like I'm not even worried about it. If he doesn't have a knight, he's got a lone queen. And I can actually just use the pawn to win the game. He's probably going to flag. Yeah, we got the win. Okay, thank you so much to Solar Maximus for the three months. Thank you so much to Solar Maximus. Appreciate it. Okay, three out of three. It's all looking up. Let's watch El Magnus. Or El Magnus. Uh, I was about to say I got confused between Mac. Oh, did he win? Wait. Where is Magnus? No, he... Oh, he has a bad tiebreaker for some reason. Oh, Wesley lost? Okay. That's so weird. Like, I expect to see him... So he is on three out of three, but I guess he played somebody who dropped out. That's kind of funny. So his tie break, so that just puts him in magically in the middle. I'm just like, what's going on? Okay, Fabiano is going to win. Thank you so much to Max Pegasus for the six months. Thank you so much to Gangster Yoshi for the three. Pata, Pata Udor for the 10. And Costas Kern for the prime. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, so this is good. Fabiano, um, Fabiano, myself, and Magnus all on three out of three. Wesley lost, apparently, you guys said. So yeah, three of three out of three. Yeah. Yeah, this is it's good stuff. All the all the big dogs are on three out of three so far. Yeah. You talk very fast, good one. Yeah. Someone withdrew and dropped his points, the irony. Actually, that is pretty funny. You're right. That is funny. So Magnus' tiebreak is terrible because somebody you beat just dropped out. That that's a, that is actually funny. That's a good one. Yeah. Do I like my headphones? They're good. Yeah, I use these ones. I have another set that I use sometimes as well. So, yeah, it's all good. Yeah. It's Karma on Magnus. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Everybody's on three out of three. So, big shout out to everybody who's chilling, having a good time. We are playing, of course, Entitled Tuesday right now. 
Um, why do I use headphones? Because I think without headphones, it would sound... I, I mean, I haven't really tested, but it, was, it would, be, it would seem kind of weird to me without headphones and music coming out and talking. I don't know. I just like it better this way. But yeah. It just means Magnus' first round opponent lost in the second round, whereas yours won. Oh, okay. Sure. You know, just popping buckets for the four months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Everybody, everybody's chilling, though. Everybody's on three out of three. So big shout out to the 16,000 you guys are watching. Hope you're having a fantastic afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Or morning if you're in Oceania. Yeah. I don't know. I see 16K, 18K, 20K, 50K. It's all the same, you guys. Doesn't matter to me. They're all waiting for you to talk about Magnus. I mean, we will be covering the we will be covering the drama. Doesn't it hurt your ears? It doesn't bother me, no. These are Fublin for the 19 months. I mean, I've been lucky. I've I've always had pretty good hearing. So I've been I've been lucky in that from that standpoint, but yeah. These are Lion Pride for the five thing of Musburns for tier one. Yes, I am listening to music, but when you play the events like um like the uh, RCC or the CGC or those events, you aren't allowed to, because theoretically it'd be possible, I think, to like pump in a different output or input and so you could like pretend to be listening to music but you're actually getting moves so yeah it's unfortunate okay we're playing Ituri Zaga speaking of people that I played against I I know I'm gonna beat this guy because I played a 100% correlation game against him before so I'm gonna I'm gonna smoke this guy okay I, I'm gonna smoke him yeah 100% <laughs> again <laughs> yeah clip that yep yeah, the, the one game, yeah, I was, uh, okay. But problem is, he, I mean, joking aside, he is a very strong player. So let's see what I'm going to do. Me and Bachowski, one G6 correlation lost. Uh, already, okay, fine. Already wrong with the King's Indian, then I'm going to go all the way. Let's go. Let's play a King's Indian like a man. He's going to play Bishop E3. Okay, let's play this one. It's what, D5, A? This is what I had against um, Sasha, right? In my famed, uh, in my famed uh, Grand Prix run in in um yeah i had this against sasha my favorite grand prix run against sasha in the um in berlin actually you know what i wonder what my correlation is in that game because like i remember reviewing before the game the computer liked this very weird h6 move which i played and like i remember before the game i thought it's so weird and then then of course computers just say you're supposed to play h6 uh so i actually kind of wonder uh i think i'm gonna play c6 here yeah Going into KID again, she shows Major Kajonas. Not really, because White's the one who chooses what sort of game they want. I spoke about this in my podcast with Fabiano and Christian. I don't, yeah, I mean, I, I just know computers always like these very weird H6 moves, whereas humans were used to pushing, taking, and opening up the line for the rook. And it's very, very weird. But computers, very often, they like this very strange push. In fact, I saw Levon had a slight disagreement with, um, with Matthew Sadler over this topic on Twitter the other day. Yeah, like computers like this H6 move as a human were just like, what the heck is this? You got to open the file for the rook. Uh, but computers generally, they do say moves like H6 are um, are actually very good in these positions, which I, I mean, I'll, for the life of me, I'll never really understand other than some kind of spatial thingy. But yeah, it's what it is. Is it an end game thing? Me, I, I think it might be an end game thing that like in an end game, somehow it's like, it's some kind of dank thing where you can't use the H pawn. I mean, I don't, I don't even, yeah, I don't even really know. Of course he plays h6 not shockingly i mean maybe he's listening who knows but knight f3 looks wrong to me somehow this does not look right this doesn't look right so knight g4 knight f3 i i mean like when i played grishik i played f3 g4 so i'm presuming this isn't right somehow but i i mean i could just be crazy too okay, it goes 92 this just does not look right Feels very questionable. Maybe questionable is the wrong way of putting it, but okay. I think let's play this like a true King's Indian player with F5, just all aboard the choo-choo train. It looks right, takes. I don't think the way he's played this is right. It doesn't feel right, at least. Thank you so much to Aaron Nico for the tier one in Delta Aries. He is originally from Venezuela, but as we know, uh, due, due to the government policies, everybody everybody is like broke in Venezuela these days, unfortunately. And so I believe he lives in Spain now. Yeah, I mean, he, he lives in Spain. He's from Venezuela, but as we know, like the, the currency is toilet paper. Just take. Okay, now I have the double op combo. He's got a weak pawn and up to a bishop f6. 
It was knight f1. Okay, so I feel like I should be better here somehow. Maybe queen g5 is a move. I'm just going to go here. Activate my dark square bishop if I can. Maybe queen f6. Could have played a4 too, maybe. But hard to judge. Oh, he goes rook d1. Wow, I did not expect that. I don't like rook d1. I f what is the idea behind I mean, I guess he intends to castle king's side, but somehow it doesn't feel right. But I have to find a way to punish. Now, I can obviously take... I mean, takes knight d5 does not look right. That activates a knight. I think... How do I do this? Surrounding pawn takes pawn. Let's go here for now. I go here to target the knight of g3. h6 is weak. I need to make sense. I can play a4, a3. And g5, rook d3. g3 is obviously a move too. Oh, this is a tough position to play. Do I try to play as like a computer with g3 or not? I, I, I... My instinct is that no, that can't be right. Rook f4 is also a move too. I think I'm just going to play this like a computer. I'm going to play g3. It might be bad, but... He's got no time. Yeah, I'm going to go a4 here. Take away this knight a4 jump. Yeah, he plays a3, which I kind of expected. I'm going to go here, target the pawn, target the knight. Somehow I should have something here. Oh, Bishop D7 was a horrible move by me. Okay, but he's he's using too much time, so I should... So it should be better here, but it's still tricky. Take the knight out of town. back Did I just blunder this or wait no I've so stupid why did I play bishop h6 Um, yeah, I've completely bungled this. I don't like G4. Yes. Yes. There we go. Yes. Crazy game. I don't I I think H6 was right. Let me take a look. We're going to take a break in a second, but I I think H6 is the computer move there. Let me see. Yeah, see this is this is what I'm saying. Like I'll, I'll wait for that to go away. Yeah, like the computer does like H6 here. Like it's so weird cuz humans we we've looked at so many games with H takes G6. But H6 is such a, um, yeah, this is not a 100% game, not even close. But H6 is one of the best moves here, which is crazy. So we get this. Oh, this is all just bad for me. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, check the accuracy. I bet the accuracy is pretty poor. Let's see. Game review, the moment of truth. 
the moment of truth let's see oh very poor we're, yeah very poor we're, we're not very good players not good now of course this is not the 100 percent correlation but still yeah we're, we're we're not very good players 72 and 75 very bad very very bad performance by both of us yeah <laughs> yeah yeah not not very not very good but look at the number of mistakes we made jeez he made seven inaccuracies nine nine mistakes three blunders i made 11 inaccuracies six mistakes and three blunders very bad anyway all right you guys we're gonna take our first break um because they break after round four the first break of the day everybody on four by the way we're all on four magnus myself fabiano all the big dogs so i'm taking a break and we'll be right back you guys what the heck what the heck there's supposed to be a break after round four what the what the fridge there, there's supposed to be a break after round four. Oh, did fabian did fabiano just have the same thing too what the heck there's there's always a break after round four fabiano did the same thing Hinging McCringleberry, thank you. Stole after the 22 Z Webster for the 10. Thank you to 1B for the tier one with Theo Dorian. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Dark Shepherd and Mizzou Esports as well. Um, okay, let's let's reset. Yeah. I'm to speed it up now. These are headhunter for the prime. Yeah. Okay, at least I've evened up the time already, though. I could have played A4-2, maybe. A4-93 is also fine. Did someone let you know? No, I went to use the restroom because there's always a break. I mean, maybe my opponent was just being nice and he's letting his time run down too. Magnus threatened to withdraw if there was a break. Good one. Yeah, Fabian did the same thing, right? Because it's it's always a break. I mean, thank you, K. Lippy, for the tier one. Fabian did the same thing because yeah, we both played enough Title Tuesdays. Subscribe. Yeah, Magnus forced a rule change. <laughs> exactly. Okay, but now I've got a good position. I've got a great Maroxy bind here, Knight C three at some point. Although I missed A five kind of annoying okay whatever just b5 knight c3 i mean i get what he's angling for knight c5 i just trade i have bishop e3 at some point position's not that bad actually i kind of i kind of feel like my position's pretty decent could have just gone bishop e3 which maybe was better um how do i do this though i have to reroute i guess i'll go here and maybe knight g4 Knight h5, logical move. Okay, now, now I don't like my position at all. I'm gonna go g3, just cut off knight f4 here. F5, I can just take. Oh, geez, oh, you, you, I missed that. Okay. Be very careful how I play this. Go here, maybe queen e2. Just be careful. I think it's a pickup truck for the 19 and Mac tack Monday for the four. I have to be careful how I do this. Go rook d1. Because f5 I just take and take, I think, and queen e5. Should have gone to c2 also. I don't know why I went to e2. It plays rook e8, which is kind of fortunate. Because I think f5 was very strong there. Go here. Consolidate as much as I can. Because now f5, now I can just take, and I should be fine. Because e4, I bishop b1. Yeah, now I should be okay. Give you my heart. It goes knight f6, which I expected. Um, somehow I need to reroute my pieces. I go here, maybe knight e3. Again, somehow I'm also way up on time now, which is kind of bizarre too. 
Let's go F3, consolidate my chain. Because I want to go 93, 95. F3 is a little bit committal, but it still should be fine. Ah, so he's trying to put his knight on d4 too. Okay. But he has no time, so I mean, I should be okay here. Reroute the bishop to g2 maybe. Or play a4. I don't want to trade. a4 is a move. I don't really like it. But I think I'm going to play it anyway. I do this maybe play h4 maybe h5 somewhere in here okay, let's play f5 logical still very hard to play i can obviously take might only be a draw i don't really want to take but i think i have to be practical that kind of shocked me. I did not expect that. Now I think I'm going to actually win the game. F8. Wait a second. There should be something here. E8, okay. Shoot, I missed that. Can I go e5? No, I guess I go here. e5. Uh. Yeah, I misplayed this. I'm probably going to lose the game. I have to take... And I have queen f5, like, I think he missed queen f5. Okay, now I should save. I can't, I shouldn't lose, but. Let's see, seven logical. Rook g1's a draw, but I think I have to play. Because it's just, yeah, this is way too dangerous if I don't play rook g1. Way too dangerous. I'm probably going to lose if I don't do it, so. Go here. Seven. What the heck did... Wait, maybe I can win now. Wait. I think I'm winning now. Yeah, I'm actually winning now. Okay, good. Yeah, five or... No, I think I go here. Yeah, so now I get around the back and I win. There we go. Five out of five. Yep, there we go. We get the win. Oof. Thank you so much to NLPDV for the tier one and cast for the six. Appreciate it. Crazy game, but we get the win. Five out of five. Um, Magnus on five out of five too. Yep. Magnus on five out of five. Where's Fabiano? How did Fabiano overcome the time deficit too, or did he unfortunately get get screwed by it? Check accuracy. No, my accuracy was no good there. Fabi lost. Yes, yeah, Fabio. Now, uh, yeah, now there's gonna be a break, right? Now there's gonna be a break. Yeah, now there's gonna be a break. I bet he lost on time. Yeah. Break deleted because of server issues. No break till round eight. Oh, okay. Round eight. Fair enough. Okay. Pocket, Round eight. Fair enough. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Thank you so much for gravel time for the 18 months. Break deleted because of what you did last time. Okay. No break till round eight. Fair enough. All right. No P until round nine. Yeah, exactly. All right. We're on five out of five. I don't think I play Magnus yet, but 
Let's see. Get Fabiano or Stafford if I play him? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for some more consign for the 25 months. Thanks for some more consign. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yep. It's gonna, this is, we're, we're headed there. Hopefully, I can get it done. Hopefully, we can get the match. Because, I mean, that's what everybody wants, right? I mean, let's be honest. So, yeah. Thanks for the right of spring for the 18 months. Thanks for the right of spring. Yeah. Fabiano is also streaming. It's a great time to be alive if you're a chess fan. What more can you ask for? Oh, I don't get Magnus. But like I said, I'm not going to play Mag. I think if we both win, it's very likely. But we have to both win this game. Last time I played Magnus online, last time I even... I played him in the world. I, okay, I got to win the game. So I'm, I'm going to keep playing G6. I got to win the game. Because the only thing that matters is playing Magnus. Nothing else matters. So yeah, I got, I got to do everything to make sure that happens. Uh, I'm going to play A6 and B5. Yeah. No, no, I played him in Lee Chess, but I mean, I played him in the World Rapid 2021, but I have not played him other than that one game. And last time I played him in, was like Meltwater in like 2021, like long, long time ago. Okay, H4 now. This guy, this dude is out for blood, so I got to be careful. Let's go here. I guess I'll play Knight F6. Get all the pawns. I hit the bishop by B4 also. I'm going to reroute the bishop here. Reroute the ponies. I'm play B4 maybe. Yeah, I don't like it. Let's just go back. Here's a bunch of Captain Mendo. Let's go here. Playing this like it's kind of like a Knight Orf. There's some Knight Orf setups where you put the Knights on B6 and D7 after White flings everything on the King side. Okay, so let's just go here. Target the Pawn. I mean, I have B4, but I think I'm just going to play Knight D7. Consolidate. Probably Castle Short. See what he does. I could have played B4 too. Maybe... Nah, I should have played B4 before he had Knight E2, but... Okay, I still have C5. Yeah, I still like C5 because I can play Rook C8 pressure. I, mean, he can, I guess he can castle with the structure, but we'll see. Yeah, I like the aggressive play. Well, I mean, as, as I was saying, like the only thing anybody wants to see is they want me to play Magnus. So I'm going to take big risks to try and win every game. Here's there's a Pumpkin for the Prime, Numbskully for the Tier 1, and Dark Hades for the Prime. Thank you so much. Yeah. It was A4. Wow, what a move. Um, I'll play B4. I don't know if I like B4, but it seems reasonable. A5, Bishop A6. Trade, obviously. Okay, castles. I expected that. Um, I assume I should play C4 here. Yeah, this is going to get very wild. I don't know what's what's going on exactly. Um, I'm going to play F5, I guess. Go here. Because F5, I trade and take, I guess. I can obviously castle at some point. I mean, I also have D5 maybe at some point. It plays Rook C1, which is a good, good freaking move. I think. Um... I don't want to play it, but I think it's the correct move. Well, maybe it's wrong. Hmm. He plays e5. I think f5 was kind of scary, but he goes he goes e5. So now, now that the queen's king side is completely closed, I'm the only one who can attack on the uh, on the queen side here. So I think I just castle f5. I just take. I just have to make sure f5 is never working, but I don't think it is here. And I'm the only one who has the open file to use. So we'll see. Yeah, he plays bishop h3 again. I don't know if he's actually playing f5 or not, but I have to be ready for it. So. Be ready for it. So let's just prepare for it. I have to be careful of C3 too. Probably I'm going to go King H8 and try. I mean, I don't think F5 makes sense here, but he might play it anyway. Okay, he goes Queen E1. I expected that. I'm going to go. Question is, how do I do this? I'm going to go Bishop C8. 
Maybe knight b8 somewhere? Okay, I'm gonna go here. He still doesn't have c3 because I just take and block. F5 doesn't really work. He goes queen g2. Again, I don't really know what his idea is. Let's go here. Okay, now I go here, and now I've completely closed it. So now it should be fine. Okay, now, now I've completely made sure he can't attack. So this is the most important thing. So now I'm just going to slowly maneuver. The F5 I always can take. There's no way to force this push, so, okay. At five, I can always just take and block. So as long as there are no tricks here, I'm, I mean, he has to be careful on the queen side too. Okay, let's go here. Go here, and now I'm going to go bishop d8. And now this is starting to make sense. Knight h5, I just take and blockade. Okay. And now you see, like, now I've got the... What the heck? Okay, goes knight g This cannot work. Um... Because I can just take and he goes bishop c1. Okay, so I can play h4 and just knight g6, I guess. I mean, this nah, this isn't working. Let's go here and queen c8, and he's got nothing. Yep, there we go. Loses the queen and we win the game. Six out of six. Magnus won. Ooh, we're getting ready. Six out of six. There we go. There we go. All right. It's, is that? Oh, it's it's a forced pairing, right? It's a forced pairing. Yeah, it's a forced pairing here because we're the only two guys on six.